This year's NAIDOC theme, Voice Treaty Truth, means many things to me and on a very complicated level. Voice is very important. I've fought from a very young age to have a voice, not just for myself, but for my family and for my community. I try to be a fighter for those that don't have a voice or who haven't yet been able to develop their voice. Treaty is something that I'm still trying to unpack what it means, but to me it shows that we're moving forward in this country, acknowledging that First Nations people were here first and that sovereignty was never ceded. So to see, particularly in Victoria, these processes happening means that we are moving forward. And truth is something that I hold deeply as a core value to always try and tell my truth and to help other people tell their truth. So I think next to 2018's NAIDOC theme, because of her we can, which meant so much to me to honor my matriarchs and all the women who have come before us. I think this is a very powerful theme that will resonate with many and comes at a timely state for Australia in terms of Uluru Statement from the Heart and all the work that our people have done and with the with Ken Wyatt as our first Honourable Minister for Indigenous Affairs, it means that we are moving forward, but we've still got a lot of work to do. I think first and foremost, the theme means to me the Uluru Statement and the prospect that it could be realised, if not this year, then sometime very soon, hopefully this year. Um, when I think about Voice Treaty Truth, I think about the incredible mandate that um, we created you know, in, uh, that was created in, at, at Uluru, and the fantastic prospect of having some real meaningful structural reform in this country. Um, and then as to the particular components of that, I mean, voice, the idea of a constitutionally protected um, uh, entity to inform our government about the laws that affect our people sounds like an incredible step forward. Um, but in some ways a very credible step forward since it's a, it's a proposal that's been made for decades. So it would be fantastic to see that realised in my lifetime. Um, I think about treaty, I think about the fact that sovereignty was never ceded in this country. And I think about the, the similarly um, quite empowering prospect of, of negotiating uh, treaties, be it at the federal, state or other levels in this country. And when I think about truth, I think about the incredible um, tasks, uh, task that lies ahead of us to really um, have, a, have a strong, empirically based idea of, of, of Australia's history and our Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people's history within this country. Voice Treaty Truth, um, I guess to me, made me think about my story, my community story, um, Indigenous Australia's story as a whole and that we are always speaking our truth, that we are always embodying our truth, that now our young people get to live out their dreams and, you know, I guess show Australia what it really means to be a young black woman. And this year I really kind of wanted to encourage Australia as a whole, white Australia in particular, to listen to our stories and to listen to our voices and our truth because we've been speaking it for decades, for hundreds of years. So now is the time for you to to just listen, listen to what we have to say and I guess help us work towards a better Australia, a strong Australia for not just our Indigenous communities but for our community as a whole. I think they're very important words and they mean a lot to us. They're connected to our voices, they're connected to our land, they're connected to our skies, they're connected to our sea. As we are Australian Indigenous people, we are proud and we have history and our historical history that will always go on and on and on.